Yo, what's good, homies and homies? It's your boy RC here. Get ready to get into this video by Impact Wrestling called Top 5 Must See Moments for July 5th, 2018. Can't wait to get into it. I know it's going to be good. Hopefully, y'all enjoy it. I know y'all see a new handset, right? Well, not, not a new handset. It's my PlayStation headset. And I'm hooked up to my PC. I got like a uh, adapter for it so I can use it on my PC instead hopefully this microphone sounds better than my other one but anyway hopefully y'all enjoy this video be sure to smash the like button leave a comment subscribe share suggest me type of video you want to see a comment section down below be sure to stay active on the channel let's hop to the video right now KM's trying to counter but he's fading fast Cam's done MMA training, but I don't think he's ever had something slapped on him. And there's Petey Williams. Oh, there's Petey Williams, Williams to his handcuff. <laughs> Petey's got a chair. I seen that little trip that happened before. The equalizer from Petey Williams to the oh, back of Cross. The first time I see somebody get hit with a steel chair. Every time I see somebody get hit with a steel chair, I kind of cringe. Good thing it's not a hair shot, though. You know how, oh, especially how WWE's about those hair shots. Those hair shots are no joke. Let's get back to the video. Look across. The chair shot had no effect. No selling no like a box. Oh my god. What in the hell no do you do like, like a box? Like it's a steel chair. Petey Williams hit him with a steel chair. Oh, oh speaker hair shots. Okay. Cross is down on the outside, still That's on his nice. feet. Look at the look on Cross's face. Was this a fight Petey Williams should have picked? Nope. Not my view. Tessa is livid. Oh, She's been defeated four. by Madison Rain twice. That doesn't sit well with the third generation knockout. Here comes Ellie. Big Ooh. move. That kick right to the neck, though. And Ali's picked a fight with Tessa Blanchard. Yeah, you know, I've seen Ali's in ring skill improve over the past six months to a year. She's just, like improving her ring skill, which is great. It's always good to improve your ring skills and hone your craft. I watched her YouTube channel. I've been supporting her YouTube channel. Um, what is it called? Ali's World. It's actually a cool YouTube channel. I enjoyed it. She gives you like a behind the scenes sneak peek into her everyday life with her husband, Braxton Sutter. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's get back to this video, but it's great to see how she's improving her ring skill and how she's doing with this new character. It's actually, it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was a nice toss to the barricade. Look it's at Angry Alley. Alley. Angry Alley is just crazy. Yeah, this is that emotional and volatile Alley that we talked about earlier. I can't wait to see Rosemary back in the impact zone, This match is honest. still going on. Cross rain by Madison Rain. Oh, that was a nice cross with this by Madison Rain. And she picks up the win for her team. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners. The team of Madison Rain and Ali. They're going to take the mask. It's because somebody's ring skill improved. I haven't seen Madison Rain's ring skills improve over the past decade. Because I remember when she joined TNA like around late 2008, early 2009 as part of Beautiful People with um, Madison Rain. I mean, she, no, 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 not Madison Rain. She can't join with herself with Angelina Love and the other girl. I forget her name. I forget her name. But it was a pretty kick-ass team. I love watching Beautiful People wrestle. They were great as a team, a duo, uh, triple threat, you know. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Oh, go the sky, that was go the sky. And this is clearly a message to Pentagon and all of Lucha Libre. And the Chris run out as Pentagon hits the ring. The former world champion, Pentagon Jr. comes to the aid of his brother, Phoenix. And you can see Pentagon has his mask back after it was taken. What the hell? Wow! What, what is Pentagon doing, Josh? There ain't no it's Pentagon. Pentagon. That's Sam Callahan. There ain't what no Pentagon. Oh, God, Ooh. Lord! He hit him with his finish! He hit him with his finish! Got Creole Power Drivers all over the place. Just shocking! To see. What you know. the? Yeah, that's Sam Callahan. That's Callahan. Sammy Callahan, this vile human being dressed as Pentagon, he still has the mask. That's not Pentagon Jr. at all. That's the mask that Callahan stole in Los Angeles. Is the ring strong enough to hold these two up here? Oh. 
What is Cage trying to hook here? That's super flex. What's he doing right here? That's super flex. Cage though. counters. Caught him side of the head. Every time I see two oh, people no. in here, it's oh, a no. super flex. I'm afraid the ring's going to break. He got him up. The whole rope. The whole ring move. It jumped about six inches. How did the ring not implode? The way that ring. I'm surprised it kept it going. I'm surprised it stayed up. Stayed up. Look at the power! Look at the power of Cage! The F5! And the cover for Brian Cage! And Cage has defeated the monster! Brock Lesnar's clone confirmed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying that just because he hit the F5. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. That was a nice F5, though. And you know, I have seen a lot of people hit the F5 before Brock Lesnar made it famous. I remember this one pay-per-view, what was it, Halloween Havoc 2000, Brian Adams hit a 5 on somebody, I forget who it was, but let's get back to the video, I mean, it's great to see F5 perfected, I mean, hey, Brock Lesnar, man, thanks, that's how you hit F5, the good one, the machine has beaten the monster, decision time, to return a homicide Hernandez the original LAX. Wow! There's uh, your answer, King! And as usual, you didn't get the job done. <laughs> did I King's or did I? Say I? Wait, wait, who, what is this? That, that's homicide! And Hernandez! Hernandez! I thought he was blackballed! It's the original LAX! Conan being choked out by King. King had a backup plan. Look at me. Look at me. Homicide getting in the face of Conan while Hernandez destroys Ortiz. It's going to take way more than this. Oh. Ooh. When's the last time we what saw Hernandez cool. in Impact Wrestling? It's great to see Hernandez back in Impact Wrestling. He actually fared well in Impact Wrestling during his second run, mostly. Not his third run. I remember him briefly coming back to TNA for a short time, but then he got a dispute for showing up on Impact Wrestling taping while still being under contract to Lucha Underground or something like that. Um, Hernandez has been good in TNA. I remember watching him in like 03, 04 when he was part of Keller Elite Squad with Onyx and they were like security guards for Jeff Jarrett. That was his first round company. They left and came back and formed LAX with Homicide and Conan. And now it's great. It's actually great to see him back in Impact. So I wonder what he could do like with this is his like third or fourth, no, fourth round with the company. But let's go back to the video. Hernandez is a talented, talented big man. Wait for flying the ring is something, man. At LAX, Satan and Ortiz and Conan are being brutalized it's by what I guess beast. is the original LAX. Well played by King Josh. Yeah, and battle lines have been drawn. It was all falling apart. Wow! Talk about finality! Like I was saying, Impact Wrestling over the past six, seven months have been coming back. I mean, yes, they lost top tier wrestlers again. I mean, they always lose top tier wrestlers. Like when it cleared contracts or resigned people during the December, month of December to January, February the next year. But it's always good to see other wrestlers come back and newer wrestlers come to the show show their talents and what their worth is see if they can get spawn the impact roster you know but um yeah i can't wait to see how next thursday plays out impact wrestling hopefully y'all enjoyed the video because i know i did be sure to smash that like button leave a comment subscribe share suggest me the type of video you want to see me react to in the comment section down below and keep on like i said if y'all are new to the channel be sure to subscribe we're at almost 3.5 thousand subscribers i appreciate every single one y'all until next time much love stay cool y'all peace